our arbitration awards have been made and, and they haven't been settled. I think these two, in individual precise circumstances, might be pertinent for mediation to resolve. Right. So this mediation and communication can come together, yeah. combined and amalgamated. Mediation can be a preventive measure also. Yes. So that arbitration do not arise at all. And the awards that have been given and not honoured, we can have a meet with those people and see what's, uh, what's possible. I, I think mean, if the circumstances are right, yes. yes. I think that's a very, very positive uh, attitude that Bill as MD. <laughs> And he is one of the most uh, dynamic uh, members that ICA has today and the most active, I must say, because I have seen throughout the event, he has not been at one place for a second. <laughs> There's no <laughs> time to stand uh, still. Yeah, no time to stand still, on yeah. the move always. Yeah. So, what is the takeaway from Hong Kong? Uh, my takeaway is uh, it's a, a, a dynamic market at the moment. It's a very interesting um, interesting time and trade with some major challenges. Um, the challenge is clearly the, you know, the, the, the big powers of China and, and America are, are resolving their trading differences and cotton is, is really almost a byproduct of that, isn't it? But, but, it, but as sanctions have been imposed there, then that's having a ripple effect right the way throughout the, th throughout the market at the moment. That has been a disruption in the market. Yeah, and that's, that, that's regrettable i'm always an optimist i hope that i hope that it'll be resolved before too long but of course we've got no major influence in this in this at all and we have to just hope for the best but i think for me one of the takeaways is that if we look at those disruptive effects in context they're perhaps shorter term they don't reveal enduring problem, they don't reveal enduring fissures or fault lines in, in the trade. Um, underneath, the fundamentals, I hope, are pretty strong. And whilst producers are producing more and consumers are consuming more, yes. and, and the, the challenges of, uh, of, um, of man-made fibres will, will always be there, but, but the, perhaps the tide is turning uh, 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 in making those uh, problems of man-made fibers more visible to the consumer at large, all those things are really positive That's for true. the cotton trade That's true. in the long term. Right, right. This so, takeaway is that uh, government policies may have a short-term effect or impact on business, but it is after all the fundamentals yeah. that will take us along and cotton industry has stood through thick and thin over hundreds and thousands of years. Exactly. So, exactly. stakeholders need not worry. It is only a matter of time when things will become more positive, more clear. I hope so. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> but I'm not a great predictor of the future. So. Nobody should be. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> we must Indeed. go along with the tide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, exactly. Uh, thanks, Bill. Thanks for the valuable time. Great. I really appreciate it. And looking um, for a visit to India during the CIA. Well, so am I. Thank it's, you. Thank, thank you very much, Manish. Thank you. Bye-bye.